What's up, FOA squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Saturday to you guys. I'm ready to go back home. <laughs> I am. I have been out and about now. I started on October the 25th. Today is November the 12th. I have been out and about for 17 days now. I've always told you guys that I'm never going to be that guy that's always out there all the time going from place to place. I like to plan something, execute that plan as far as travels, and then head back home. And today I, I felt like I was ready to go, uh, go back home. I still have all day tomorrow here and then take off on Monday. I'm going to try to hold out until then. But yeah. Uh, just a quick update, my camping neighbor did uh, make his way back to the campground today. They did keep him overnight. Um, I had a chance to talk with him and he told me that the doctor told him that they didn't think that it was a bee sting. It was probably some type of spider bite or something, but he is feeling better. He looks better. His energy level was uh, higher than it was yesterday, of course. So. He's doing well. All right, so I'm hungry today. I don't feel like cooking a whole lot. I um, I fixed the breakfast this morning. Still got the dirty dishes there. So I thought for dinner that I would do something nice and quick, or not quick, but I don't have to put much effort to it. Uh, on our way and our travels, we stopped at a uh, pro bass shop and I picked up two. Oh Lord, here's a bee flying around this camera. I picked up two of these dry food meals. Remember, I did a whole little section on d the different ones of these and I tried out mostly, I think they call Mountain House, mostly those. This one is called Alpine Air. And so I picked up a Mountain Chili. Of course, this video is not sponsored. I know people always send me a message saying, Anthony, you gotta stop. You know how you think you hear that bee buzzing around? Now I'm a little paranoid, especially what happens in my camping neighbor. And you gotta stop. Um, promoting these companies or whatever. I don't know. I just like to buy and try things, okay? And then I also have the Himalaya lentils and rice. So I don't know which one of these I'm gonna try. I think I'm gonna go with the lentils. I've never eaten lentils before. So this one says, add one and three quarters of boiling water. So let's get some water boiling. I'll be using my little kettle here that I love, 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 love this kettle. Uh oh, I was about to freestyle it. You know how that would have turned out. Either too much, in my case, it would have been too much. All right, one cup. All right, let's see if I can manage this without making a mess. and three quarters. That's almost another cup. All right. Let me tell you, this thing is gonna boil fast. Ah! I'm all paranoid now. Felt like something was on my leg. All right. I'm gonna show y'all this. The timer is on. Not technically, but you know. <laughs> the lentil ones it is. I gotta be careful with this because I am not the best at tearing a straight line. And then you have your reseal line there. Mine always fly off track. Somebody told me in the comments that I'm not the sharpest tool in the... 
no, the brightest light bulb in the chandelier because the way that I handle the situation. <laughs> uh, that person is no longer with us because you're not gonna insult me. I don't mind people telling me things, but you're not gonna insult me. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna let you do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh, it smells good. Let me see if I can let you see what's in there without pouring it out. It's just my luck. I poured all half of it out on the ground. All right, there we go. Nice and colorful. It almost seems like <clears throat> it almost seems like one and three quarters is not enough. So I did my laundry today here at the campsite and. When I was in there, this uh, guy came in and we started chatting and everything. And he started telling me where the, about the night action spot. <laughs> and it's in a place called The Trails. <laughs> Go figure. So he said, oh, have you um, been to The Trails? And I said, no. Um, my camping neighbor told me about it, but I, I don't know where it is. So he said, well, if you have a few minutes, I can walk you over there and walk you through it and show you where it is. So I said, okay. So he walked me through it and I'm telling you, trails and trails and trees and everything. And I thought to myself, I ain't coming out here at night. I don't see no lights or nothing. Then he told me, you can't have no lights. You can't shine lights. You can't talk. You just gotta go there have some fun and get out i ain't going there i ain't going there because i don't believe in being in the dark i i don't know i'm not going there seriously i'm not going there because i can imagine the i can imagine how dark it is in that area and he was like oh they got little light strips you know he on some of the trees and this and that I'm thinking, that ain't enough for me. I need a whole light path. But anyway, yeah, he told me that. I went up to the pool uh, about an hour ago, and it is jam-packed. There's no way I'm getting in that pool with all those people. Not me. And last night, I went out. They have, a, like, a dance floor, a DJ type of deal. I'm telling you, boy, that music was... That, that DJ was good, boy, because that music was on. It, it just took me back to when I used to always, you know, go to the club and like going to the club and just getting my dance on. I'm telling you, it was, I was like, wow. It was pretty good. Got me a drink, a fuzzy navel. That's, that's the best drink that I could think of. And one of my friends told me about that drink. And because I'm, I'm not much on alcohol, a lot of drinks that you get at bars is more alcohol taste than anything else. I generally would have to have a conversation with the bartender and say, hey, look, I'm not that much of a drinker. I prefer a much sweeter drink on than alcohol. And then that's when my buddy told me about the Fuzzy Navel and I've been drinking that same drink for years. And here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. Uh-oh, there goes my fork. Okay, this thing usually heats up or appears to heat up faster than what it's doing now. Maybe it's showing off because I'm talking to you guys. But yeah, because I want it to be really boiling, like a rolling boil, because you know, you want all this to be done, especially one's packets with rice and stuff in it. You want the all the rice all the way through to be to be done. Okay, ah, there we go. There we go. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. There we go. But I think I'm gonna be heading home. I'm gonna stay my entire time though. But they pay. <clears throat> but if you leave early, they they will refund you the days that you uh, didn't stay. So. I don't know, maybe I'll take off tomorrow morning. I love driving or starting off my drives on a Sunday because it's peaceful, less people are out on the road. And you know, it's just more calming to me than starting on a Monday, a work day, a work morning, 
possibly getting caught in multiple traffic jams on the way out. So I may I may take off tomorrow because you know <clears throat> I think I I seen what I needed to see here and you know the layout and everything the uh, this particular crowd. But yeah. It was rolling and steam was coming out of it. Now it's not really. It's not really doing too much or nothing now. The only downfall of this uh, kettle is that when you pick it up and pour, this little section here will bend out of shape sometimes. So you got to hold the bottom of it and pour. And let me tell you, you better watch out for that steam that's coming out of that boy because my thumb felt that steam a couple of times and reminded me to uh, reposition my hands. But yeah, it's not doing anything. I don't know why. I'm gonna sit it on the floor. Maybe it's uneven or something. Is it even on? Oh, shoot. It's saying 10 watts output. That don't sound right. Let me see. Okay, I don't know. Maybe once it reaches a certain boiling, it cuts off. I don't know. But... I'm gonna go with that theory. So, let me go ahead and put this in here. Man, this smells so good. All right, ah, don't drop it, Anthony. And it goes. I'm gonna stir it up. Close the pouch. That sun followed me. These two guys just now pulled in with this massive, massive fifth wheel because they got this massive truck that they're pulling it with. All right, guys, there it is. It's supposed to wait for about 15 minutes and I'll check back with you guys and show you guys how it turned out. All right, guys. While that's getting done, I wanted to take a minute and show you guys the camping area that I'm in right now. I told you guys that they have four designated uh, van areas for like a conversion van that you see, then my minivan, and then my neighbor who uh, went to the hospital, he has a pickup truck, and then the fourth uh, person on the end, they have another conversion van, sort of like a the one that you see here next to mine. I like the fact that this campground has that designated area for smaller type vehicles. A lot of campgrounds don't allow you to car park or maybe not even to minivan park. And another good thing about this section is it's not even considered a tent spot. So they have Um, electrical I got my towel over here they have some electrical underneath 
there. Check out these trees or plants. Look at that. And then look at these over here. Oh my goodness. Look at these big things. I don't even know what they called. Look at these things. Wow. Look at these things. I've never seen nothing like this. Look how big they are. They remind me of something like the Wizard of Oz, like the, the Lollipop Guild people, something like where they live. But these things are massive. Wow. Look at this long one right here, this branch. Look where that stems from. All the way over there. These things are huge. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, guys, let's give this a try and see how it turned out. It almost looked like it needed a little bit more water. All right, let's give it a try. Don't smell as good as it did when before I started uh, cooking it. God, it's so bland. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, I got, oh, <clears throat> oh God, I got to dolly it up. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. It's so bland. Oh boy, no, we can't do bland. Up to the rescue. I'm gonna need a lot of this for. I might have to go into my <laughs> I might have to go into my season arsenal and boy do I have one. Put a little hot sauce in there. Oh my God, that was. There's a lot of it in here too. Well, I might have to go in for a second round of seasons. All right. Mm. I gotta go another round. Ooh, but that hot sauce kicking in, boy. Let me tell you. I won't put no more hot sauce in there, bro. Cause I got a little sting from that. It's getting there, it's better. Mm. Today was water day. I drank about three bottles of water so far. 
think this is my fourth bottle. Because I told y'all my lower back was hurting a little bit. And I know what that means for me. I feel you guys said, you know, <clears throat> that's a, a sign that my kidneys is dehydrated and need some water. So I'm draining them bad boys out today. I already know I don't drink enough water. Me and water has a, a love-hate relationship. I don't know why I can't drink it on a consistent basis. Kind of like going to the gym on a consistent basis. Alrighty. Ah, that was refreshing. I don't think I'm gonna eat all this because it's a lot. It's it's heavy. I'm not that damn. I'm not even that enthusiastic about trying the other one. And that's chili. I got a good mind to throw this in a frying pan and fix some chicken with it or something. Some sausages. <laughs> Saus sausages would be the quickest thing. All right, I think that's gonna do it for this. Mm. When you buy one of those with the rice in it, you really gotta open it up and give it a good stir to make sure that all the rice is done and, and that it's, you don't have any like hard, hard grains of rice in it. That's done though, but I've done that before in the past with these meals. I didn't stir it up too well, and the top of it, the rice was uh, not not cooked. All right, that's gonna do it for today's video. I may be heading home tomorrow, or I may decide to hang in there and take off on uh, Monday like I'm supposed to. But in any event, Thank you guys for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time.